What's up guys? Today's video, we are eating all new fast food items for 24 hours. I'm actually really excited about this video because there are so many new interesting items out right now that I wanted to share with y'all. So first place that we are at is Crumble Cookies and that is to get one cookie in particular. I did order a few, but the main reason why I came here is for this one. So it says Crumble Bakes new Wonka's Wildly Wonderful Red Velvety Cookies and more through December 16th, 2023. So they have this new Wonka cookie cookie which just looks so fun it looks delicious now this is the last day that you can get this cookie so if you guys have tried it yet let me know but i'm actually outside of crumble right now so let me pop in grab these cookies and we will see if they're good or not all right you guys we've secured our crumble cookies and they look absolutely amazing okay let me reveal them to y'all da, 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 da. my gosh look at the wonka cookie also, I am wearing all pink today, which I did not mean to do, but look. I got pink sweatpants, pink shirt on. I meant to wear this shirt today, and then the sweatpants I just had on while I was doing my makeup. And they were so comfortable, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to take them off. So now we're wearing all pink. Okay, so wow, these cookies are ginormous. I have not had crumble in so long. And I kind of forgot how big they were. I did get one Wonka cookie for Gabe, so I'm just gonna be eating one of these. But here is the cookie up close. We got the golden W on it for Wonka. So it said it was a red velvet cookie with, I think they're traditional like butter cream filling on the inside, some sprinkles, and then a gold dusted W. This is a beautiful cookie, I must say. Okay, let's give it a bite and see does it actually taste good. It is a very cold cookie. Mmm, got sprinkles all on my hair. Okay, it is a very delicious cookie. I'm getting all the red velvet flavors, but... I will say it is a very hard cookie. So if you prefer crumble cookies that are a lot softer and warmer, I don't know if you would like this one, but the taste, 10, 10. It's, it's a good cookie. It's very rich. I guess just from the red velvet, I mean, that is already a very rich flavor. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I would recommend that cookie. It's a beautiful cookie. Maybe you can actually warm it up. I don't know, but let's try the other cookies. We have the Black Forest Cake, which is this one. And this one actually feels really cold too. So I think this is a cold cookie as well. Ooh. Oh, this one's good. Okay, I can tell you right now already I like this better than the Wonka cookie. This one is super chocolatey, but the frosting on top is very light and airy and fluffy, and it just pairs so well with the chocolate. Mmm. Ooh, I love this one. I feel like this one being cold works with this cookie okay last up we have the semi-sweet chocolate chunk cookie now this one is warm so i think this one is actually going to be my favorite out of them all i do love a classic cookie i mean this one chocolate chip it doesn't really get much more classic than that <laughs> Okay, this one is heaven. Straight up melt in your mouth, soft, yummy goodness on the inside, crisp and crunchy a little bit on the edges. The chocolate, very tasty. <laughs> this one is my favorite. I could legit eat this whole thing right now. Mmm. <laughs> okay, one more bite of the center. Yummy. All right, you guys, overall thoughts on the crumble cookies. I would say very successful week. I did enjoy every cookie. I think for the Wonka cookie, which is the one that we mainly came here for, I believe I'm gonna pop it in the oven and see if I like it that way. Cause I think it just needs to soften up a little bit and get a little warm and I think I'll like it a bit better. My favorite was definitely the chocolate chip cookie. Okay, let's go to our next place for more new fast food items. Thank you to Sunbird for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have not heard of Scentbird before. They are a monthly fragrance subscription service that lets you try out different designer fragrances each month. So on a monthly basis, you pay $17 to try out a variety of fragrances. You get a 30-day supply for the month, which is perfect. And what I love about Scentbird is with perfumes, you never really know if you're going to like it. So with Scentbird, you can try out a bunch of different perfumes and see which one you like. So let me share with you guys the perfumes that I have this month. The first one is 
is Bottega Veneta Knot. All of the Sunbird perfumes come in this little travel pouch and then you just take it out of here and then you can open this up to get the vial out very easy. And this has notes of neroli, lime, lavender, peony, and musk. So let's try this out. Ooh, this one smells so good. It has a very fresh floral scent, but then it kind of has like a little bit of a spice at the end. Of course, now that I have it on, I can see how it wears throughout the day and how I like it. Okay, the next one that I have is Sakura by Ormond or Mon Jane. Not sure how to pronounce that, but it looked really pretty. Okay, so here's this one. This has notes of lime, mandarin, pink pepper, cherry blossom, and vanilla. I love any perfume that has vanilla in it, so I think I'm gonna really like this. Okay, this one is a really sweet smell. My favorite perfumes are sweet. This one is really beautiful. I would definitely recommend this if you kind of like a little bit of a sweeter scent. Okay, last up we have one that I've always wanted to try. This one is by Parfums de Marly and it is Delina Exclusive. This one has notes of Turkish Rose, Vanilla, Lychee, Pear, and Vet... 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 Ooh, that one's also really pretty. That one smells like a really sweet, beautiful girl who just looks innocent on the outside, but you know, she has a little wild side to her on the inside. <laughs> Okay, this one might be my favorite. I do have a coupon code with Scentbird. If you want to try them out, you can get 55% off of your first month. All you have to do is use code SUE. You can either scan this QR code right here, or you can click the link in the description box. I will also have it pinned in the comment section. Okay, back to the regular program. All right, you guys, the next location I am probably the most excited about, and that is because we are at Burger King. So they have a new shroom and Swiss melt. It says new shroom and Swiss melt joins Burger King's returning melts menu starting December 7th, 2023. It says the shroom and Swiss melt features two flame grilled Whopper Jr. patties layered with two slices of melty Swiss cheese, sauteed mushrooms, and royal sauce, all sandwiched between two toasted bread rounds. I do love their melt, so I'm very excited to try this one. And I also love mushrooms, so I think this is going to be right up my alley. Oh, and Swiss. I love Swiss cheese, so Really, this is the most perfect item for me. We're also gonna get their Cheesy Tots, which is not a new item, but it is a returning item. I freaking love their Cheesy Tots. They are so amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and pop into the drive-thru. Thanks, this is very kind with you. Are you ready? Hi, um, can I get the Shroom and Swiss Melt, please? What else for you? Um, I'll do that as a combo with the Cheesy Tots. You want me to add all the cheesy sauce to me? Can you put it onto the no. meal or no? I'll just do the melt then without the combo. Cheesy tots. And the cheesy tots, yep. Um, and then I'll do a small Coke Zero and that's gonna be it. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this sandwich, but random little tidbit of information. It is a wild time to be out right now. I guess because everyone is Christmas shopping, there is so many cops out like directing traffic and also pulling people over on the main road which is interesting because there is so much traffic that you can't go higher than the speed limit so i'm really curious as to why people are getting pulled over like are they running red lights are they running stop signs i don't know but i'm a little bit scared to get back on the main road hi how are you doing doing good good oh i'm so sorry i can get it all right, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hi, how's it going? Good. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys, we secured our Burger King bag. Okay, let me go get parked and we will try out this new melt sandwich. I am really excited. I think this is going to be really good just based on the other melts that I've had. I'm pretty sure I've tried all of their melts. I know I did it before in a video like a really long time ago. I don't think they've had any new melts since then but i could be wrong okay first things first gotta get a sip of my coke zero oh that's so good coke zero just hits the spot every freaking time it never fails <laughs> okay now i'm gonna try the cheesy tots first just because technically these are a returning item and not a new item but i'm sure it's new for a lot of people they're super hot Okay, so here we go, up close. Mm. Oh 
Oh my gosh, they are amazing. They're just like cheesy fried hash brown tasting. Almost like fried cheese balls, except it has that more potato flavor. They truly are the best. <laughs> there are so many geese where I'm at. Let me turn around. Do you guys see the geese? They are just wandering around this parking lot. Okay, now time for the melt. Okay, this shroom, the shroom and Swiss melt, the star of the show. Has a pretty good smell to it from the outside. Let's unwrap this bad boy. Okay, I'm sorry. How amazing does that look? It looks so melty and delicious with the Swiss cheese. You cannot go wrong with this. Mm-mm-mm. This is delicious. That slight kind of mushroom flavor goes so well with the Swiss. And then y'all know Burger King, they got the best patties ever. Really yummy flame grilled flavor. Okay, that sandwich I would highly recommend. I will say if you don't like mushrooms, I probably wouldn't try it because that mushroom flavor definitely does not shy away. You get that mushroom taste, but also the Swiss flavor is very powerful as well. You gotta say I love this though. I mean, Burger King cannot steer us wrong. I really wanted to go to Kohl's today because I need to get some Christmas shopping done, but seeing all this traffic, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to go out in that and the stores are probably packed. I mean, I would definitely get Gabe to drive. <laughs> I am not driving again after this. I just, I really don't do well driving in traffic. I just get super nervous. Like I'm the kind of person I love to drive if I'm the only person on the road. <laughs> okay, back to Burger King. Final thoughts on everything. Shroom and Swiss melt, I would say is a 10 out of 10. I know that sounds very generous, but like I can't not give this a 10 out of 10. It's just so delicious, very juicy. It's just right up my alley. I love a good mush, mush, <laughs> a good mushroom Swiss moment. And then our glorious cheesy tots. You have to try these if you haven't tried them. If you have already tried them, you should know how delicious they are. Go back to Burger King, pick them up. It's amazing. Okay, well, that was BK. I will see you guys at our next fast food stop for more new fast food items. Quick glance at the geese cam. Check these suckers out, there's so many of them. All right, you guys, our next stop is McDonald's and that is to finally get their new Kerwin Frost Box. So this is their second adult Happy Meal. This actually came out on December 11th, so it has been some time since it came out. I'm hoping that they still have it, fingers crossed. But yeah, whenever I saw this, I was like, okay, I absolutely loved the first adult Happy Meal that they had. I really wanna try this one. It says the Kerwin Frost box includes the choice of 10 piece chicken nuggets or a Big Mac, world famous fries, a soft drink, and a special McNugget Buddy collectible. Coming back IRL for the first time in over 25 years, but this time designed in partnership with Kerwin Frost. So I actually wasn't too familiar with Kerwin Frost. I wasn't quite sure who he was, and Gabe actually hadn't heard of him either. I want to say he's a DJ, but I can't confirm or deny that. I think I just read that somewhere. But it does say growing up in Harlem, New York, Kerwin found his McNugget Buddy collection to be a source of creative inspiration. So it was only right for McDonald's to bring back the buddies and through them introduce fans to Frostway, where everyone is welcome to be exactly who they are. Aw, I love that. Complete with mix and match outfits, the buddies' designs are inspired by Kerwin's childhood experiences and belief that everyone should feel free to express themselves. I absolutely love that. Oh my goodness. Like, yes, Kerwin, we love that. Okay, let's pop into the drive-thru. Fingers crossed that they have it. Thank you for choosing McDonald's with these normal bombs today. Hi, um, can I just do the Kerwin Frost Box, please? Do you want the Big Mac or the 10 piece? I'll do the 10 piece. Okay, what's your sauce and drink? Can I get that with hot mustard and barbecue sauce? And for the drink, I'll just do a water, please. 
All right, anything else? No, that's gonna be it. 12.62 likes on that, please. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. Okay, yay, they had it. Oh, I can't wait to see what toy we get. I tried to collect all the Cactus Buddy toys whenever they had those, but unfortunately, I was only able to get two. I ended up getting the Grimace one, and then I got the Cactus Buddy, which I think were like the two main ones that everyone was getting. I really wanted to get the Hamburglar. Now, those actually sold out so fast. I'm honestly shocked that they still have these. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Thank you, you have really pretty eyelashes. Kind of random, but yeah, you're welcome. Thank you too. Uh, yes. Thank you, uh, yes I did. Thank you, have a good day. And that guy had the prettiest eyes. He had light green eyes. These beautiful people working at McDonald's. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, our McDonald's Kerwin Frost Box has been secured. Okay, let me get parked and then we'll take a moment to appreciate the box. So there's this side, and then we have this side. And then I think these are all the toys that you can get. So it says, yo buddy, check it out. We all swapped outfits. Can you tell who's who? I gotta say, I love the artwork on this. It's so creative. It actually kind of gives Christmas vibes. It almost looks like they're caroling, but I don't know if that was the vibe they were going for okay let's open it up okay first things first let's see what toy we got okay you can get wafutu kerwin frost brick don bernice uptown mo or darla packaging with mcdonald's kind of on point oh we got wafutu the one that i am probably pronouncing wrong Okay, so it says, dips in honey, the pride and joy of frost way, turns a frown upside down with a wave of a wand and a tilt of a crown, smart, brave, relentless, and strong, and always knows right from wrong. yep -a do <laughs> Okay, stop. The packaging is so nice. Okay, here she is. How sweet is she? She's holding the cactus buddy. Stop! I love that! I want to get another one of these. I want to collect all the little toys. On to the food. I feel like I've tried this McDonald's food a million times on my channel, but let's just go ahead and give a little taste test. Mmm. Oh my gosh, the fries still though. On point. These are delicious. I don't think I could ever get tired of McDonald's fries. Here are the nuggets. I ended up going with these instead of the Big Mac because we had that Swiss melt earlier from Burger King. I will say that Swiss, shroom and Swiss melt from Burger King was a very heavy sandwich. So now I'm like, let me just eat me some little chicken nuggies. Mmm. delicious oh yeah also got some barbecue sauce because i do love mcdonald's barbecue and it's been a hot minute since i've had some okay barbecue mm, childhood favorite here i got lit for some mcdonald's barbecue sauce let me tell you <laughs> let's try dipping the barbecue into the hot mustard i feel like i've done this before maybe not Okay, now that is the move. That is the move right there. Oh, I'm gonna start doing that. Oh my gosh, that's so good. All right, you guys, well, that was the Kerwin Frost Box at McDonald's. Very fun experience. I really liked that McDonald's started doing these adult Happy Meals because they're just fun and they're perfect for people like me who is a kid at heart. I love kid things, so this, this is just perfect. Okay, I will see you guys at our next stop for more new fast food items. All right, you guys, our last new fast food item that we are getting is from Starbucks, and that is actually a new drink that they have for the holiday season, and that is their new Merry Mint white mocha so it says the merry mint white mocha features espresso with white chocolate sauce milk and ice all topped with peppermint chocolate cream cold foam and chocolate curls so i did have to place the order on the app on their app or somewhere i don't know i read somewhere that 
it's only available on the app so I just went ahead and placed it I will say the drink came out to be eight dollars because they basically ring it up like they ring it up as an iced white chocolate mocha with peppermint chocolate cream cold foam no whipped cream and then add chocolate curls topping so that's how the app automatically did it and yeah it was eight dollars so a little steep we will see if it's worth it all right you guys here's our merry mint white mocha so I'm pretty sure you can actually just order this in the store you definitely don't have to do it on the app if anything you can just ask them for these substitutions right here and this will get you the drink so it looks really tasty I think I'm actually gonna drink it without the straw because now that I think about it it's got the foam on top which we definitely want to get my fear is that it's gonna be too sweet but let's see Ooh. okay it's definitely sweet but it's not like overly sweet to the point where I don't want to drink it it's actually really good. It definitely tastes like a minty chocolate. It's kind of given Andy's. It's kind of given those Andes mint chocolate vibes, which I absolutely love during this holiday season. If you want something a little bit more on the sweeter, mintier side, this would definitely be for you. I will say, ever since I got my Nespresso, I have not gone to Starbucks once like at all. I think the last time I went to Starbucks was maybe like a month ago. I don't quite remember, but that espresso has been working over time. Let me tell you, I love that thing. And it just totally eliminates the need to go to Starbucks, which ultimately saves you money because the Nespresso pods are only a dollar per pod if you buy them from Amazon. So I've been loving the Nespresso, but I mean a good Starbucks drink every now and then I will take it. Alright you guys, well that was eating all new fast food items for 24 hours. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, these are so fun to try new items. That adult Happy Meal from McDonald's was really fun. I think my favorite items were definitely Burger King because y'all know I am a BK stan and that melt was so delicious. Okay, well I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!